Hey everybody, welcome back to Mini Beast Canada. Today I have a very exciting video for you today. So, we got some Narcius Americanus, or the giant American millipede in this enclosure here. And these guys make very awesome pets, especially if you have kids and you need a very simple pet that you can take care of. And it's very exciting to watch these guys. So for the bin, I have a small bin here with about five inches of substrate and a small ventilation hole in the top here. They like good ventilation, but they also like a little bit of humidity. So if you can see the size of the vent compared to the cage here, that's about what you want. So let's open this up. As you can see, there's one out here. They've all kind of hid because I have a light on. They don't really like light too much, uh, which is awesome because you don't need any extra lighting or heating or anything like that. They like cool areas. So keeping them around room temperature is perfect, or even a little bit colder if you have a colder room. Um, for the substrate, I use a mix of worm castings, some hardwood pellets that I soften and mix in there, and then some smaller pieces of rotting wood mixed in there, as well as some leaf litter and some crushed eggshells for calcium. Uh, on top, you want some more leaf litter and a lot of rotting wood. You can never have too much, so more is always better as this is their main food source. So as you can see, this is some rotting wood I have in here. It crumbles pretty easily. This is all collected from outside, but I bake it in the oven for around one to two hours at 225 Fahrenheit to sterilize it and kill anything that might be in it that could harm the millipedes or get into your enclosure that you don't really want in your house. So, that's pretty much what I do for these guys. I keep them a little bit damp, uh, not wet, but just a little bit damp. Um, and that's about it. You can substitute food for these guys. Um, you can use some fish flakes, uh, carrots, lettuce, cucumber, anything like that. There's a lot of information online of what you can and can't feed to them. Uh, so do your research and you should be good to go. But for the most part, just some carrots or cucumber, things like that that I mentioned are good enough. And some fish flakes for like protein and stuff like that. Or you can put dried insects like uh, freeze dried crickets or things like that and they'll also eat those. Um, they won't eat anything living so don't put any live crickets in here. Uh, that won't be good for them. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for the care. Um, these guys are totally harmless. They don't bite nothing they do have a little bit of a defense mechanism that they release from their exoskeleton here um it's pretty well harmless it can discolor your skin a little bit but for the most part it's not really irritating unless you have sensitive skin and it'll go away in like a day or so there are a lot of millipedes in here let's see if i can find some so there are quite a few. As I mentioned before, the adults get four to five inches. There's a little baby in here, tiny little one. And this is like a sub-adult. They get a little bit bigger than that, but that's about what they get to. As you can see, totally harmless. They just kind of walk around and mind their own business. So these guys make awesome pets, especially if you have kids. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it for these guys. Um, they're very, very easy to take care of. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them all. But that is pretty much it for these guys. I do have one more thing to show you that's pretty exciting, but I'll leave that for a little bit. Um, so yeah, so these guys, these guys are awesome. I'll post a couple close-up pictures of them so you can see what they look like up close right now, and you can check those out. So as you can see, these guys are pretty neat up close. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure if I mentioned already, but these are one of the only millipedes that you can legally keep in Canada. Um, there are a few others, but they don't seem to do well in captivity. 
and I will show you those in a second as I have a pair of them that are currently breeding and have so far been doing well. I think I may have figured out why they don't survive in captivity so I'm going to test that out and if it works then I will share it with you guys and if not then probably leave them be and not try again. So let's pull those in here and I will show you what they look like. So these guys are Rudoloria trimaculata. As you can see, they're down here. And it appears they may be trying to breed again. So I won't bug them too much. But these are the other giant millipedes that we have in Canada. And the care for these guys is very unknown. There's not much information on them and they seem to die after a couple months in captivity. I have passed that point. I've had them for around three months now and so far they're doing well and they're starting to breed. So hopefully I get some eggs from them soon and hopefully I can get them to survive. And if I do, I will definitely share them with you guys so that you can see how to take care of them and hopefully we can get these into the hobby more in Canada. So that's pretty much it. Um, these are really awesome. Like I said, if you have any questions, comment below or you can message me on Instagram. These millipedes are for sale. I do have lots of captive bred ones in here that will be for sale and I can ship all throughout Canada. So that's pretty much it for this, guys. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. And... Have yourselves a nice day.